uh, welcome to my channel. This is an introduction video I figured I'd make. Um, yeah, my channel is pretty much whatever I feel like making. Uh, vlogs, skits, pranks, uh, anything. But yeah, um, it's a quick video showing, you know, where I'm from and where I was raised, the schools I went to and stuff like that. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's go. Put off the red nose reindeer Had a very shiny nose And if you ever saw it You would even say it glows All of the other reindeer Used to laugh and call him names They never left poor Rudolph Join in any reindeer game In one foggy Christmas South Philly. This is one of my earliest memories growing up on this street. Uh, 12th and Tree. Come, come uh, forward with me and I'll show you where I grew up in the early 90s. So yep, this is the house I grew up in. 1211 Tree Street. Great house. Lots of good memories of uh, Watching the Flyers and playing hockey out here on the street in the snow. Back in 96, there was a really big snow blizzard. And the snow literally came all the way up to like the door handle. Right next door was uh, my good friend Anthony and his family. I recently just ran into them. Great guy. And down there, the decorations, the house in the middle, was my friend Nikki's house. And I haven't seen him in years. We used to go play Nintendo 64 and PS1 and all kinds of old video game consoles and just a really good time. So this right here is the back entrance of my grade school. This is the second school I went to and this is a Catholic school, Epiphany of Our Lord School. Great school, great memories. This is the back entrance like I said and if you go through these doors it leads to the cafeteria slash gym. And, uh, I'm filming back here because of the street light. Otherwise, the front is too dark, there's no street lights on, and you wouldn't really be able to see much. Sometimes, we used to actually even go through here. It was kind of like a front entrance too, in a sense. But yeah, and this is also on the same street, Tree Street, you know, a few more houses up ahead is 1211 where I grew up. Yeah, really, really good times. But yeah, like I said, growing up on this street, and this house was really fun. My dad worked overnight and my mom worked during the day, so she'd go to bed early and I would kind of would fend for myself, uh, stay up late and playing Sega Genesis and watching Flyers games if they were on the West Coast and it was a late start and whatnot. There's just so many good memories, man. And right here, guys, is my first school ever. It's called AS Jenks. It's also in South Philly, not too far from Epiphany. And I went all the way from pre-k kindergarten all the way to fourth grade this building used to have a third floor in like the 70s and 80s and it burned down so it only went up to fourth grade from like the late 80s and 90s and i graduated in like 99 i believe or 2000 so yeah it only goes up to fourth grade that's why i had to go to epiphany afterwards this building is really big and it's like one of the only safe public schools in south philly and it's like really old school like you can look this school up a lot of history uh it's kind of dark here but 
Yeah, still looks the same for the most part. This trailer has been here for years. I don't even think the school like goes in here anymore. This is basically just, I don't know, for filing or something's in here. I'm sure someone goes in here, but usually it's a hangout spot. The kids write all kinds of messages and stuff like that. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there's like nice little benches for you know lunch and stuff like that. I guess now they let the kids out. These weren't here when I was here. Yeah, like I said, this school is pretty big. It's on a nice little piece of property. And it was really nice for the neighborhood, you know, everyone who lives up these streets and surrounding area. Come right here, you know. But uh, this is where most of uh, the neighborhood parks. Or like if they need to park, if they have a permit, I guess. And during school, these cars are not here. And this is like where we used to play recess. Now. There's like another trailer here, which has also been here for years. And yeah, I don't think anyone goes in these, to be honest. But we used to climb them back in the day. People hang out here. This leads to the gym. It's a really big building. I haven't been here in years, so I'm sure it looks way different inside. There's a lot of rooms. I forget what they use most of the rooms for. It's probably computer rooms and library and all that kind of stuff. This is the side entrance of the school. It's pretty well lit. Just trying to get up close so you guys can get kind of a concept of what it looks like. Very nice. Paper and nice fancy intercom though. Well, not so much fancy. <laughs> really good school. So, also about a block down is Tree Street where I grew up. And this part of the neighborhood was like the biggest, the biggest hangout spot back in the day, like 10 years ago. Everybody was here. We were, you know, hanging out in the corner right on that step. And uh, great friends always get down. Great friends always get down. Yeah, yeah. Um, just uh, making a YouTube video. You know YouTube, right? Okay, cool. Uh, hey, you want to be in the video? Uh, okay. Well, uh, yeah, just subscribe to me. Yeah. <laughs> That's some guy. Um, he lives up 11th and Daly. And he is like a watchdog. He sees anything out of the norm. He's coming right at you full force. And, uh, yeah, that was pretty funny. Good timing, I guess. I'm glad I got that in the vlog. <laughs> yeah, like this, this whole three block radius was the hangout spot. Right now, I am on 10th and Daly, and then straight down is 9th and Daly, and the previous corner was 11th and Daly. And a uh, real good friend of mine used to live here first house I experienced Halo in and Halo 2 and Xbox Live back in the day. You know, for gamers, that was, a, that was a big moment. Lots of great things. Playing online for the first time with people. Uh, my friend Mike's house was somewhere around here. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's just so many good memories. Uh, one of our good girlfriends used to live down there. And all her friends and my cousins are around the block, so you could probably get the concept that like everyone's just all mashed in together down here and you just had a great time. Kind of sucks like anymore when I come around here, uh, you know, it's like no one really hangs out around here anymore. So, I still come around here though. I know my roots and where I come from, so it's always good to stop by the neighborhood. Right here, not too far from where I grew up. This used to be a blockbuster back in the 90s. Right on uh, 10th and Snyder. Had a nice 7-Eleven uh, and some stores and stuff like that. We used to have a nice like skateboard shop down there. It's pretty fun. Uh, early 90s, my uncle would take me to this uh, blockbuster that was here. And he rented me Resident Evil. And that's like one of my favorite games and franchises of all time and pretty much this is the origins of my gaming, you know, when it was Blockbuster I 
will come and rent all kinds of games for Sega Genesis, PS1, and stuff like that, even all the way up until early Xbox and GameCube until they like kind of went out of business. So yeah, lots of good memories, and I wish there was still a blockbuster here. <laughs> This is the high school I went to about 11 years ago, and it's also about a block and a half from where I currently live at now, so you can really imagine that everything in South Philly is really convenient. But yeah, it's a good school. I wish I would've took high school a little more serious, kinda fucked around a little bit, didn't really give a shit. But yeah, kids, stay in school. Education's important. All right, guys, thank you for watching. That's gonna do it for the video. Uh, you know, just a basic vlog, introduction video about me, the things I like to do and whatnot. Hope you enjoyed it. If you made it to the end of the video, leave a like and comment. Let me know you stuck it out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace.